and welcome to the craft room. In today's video I just want to show you a fun and easy technique that I used to create this great background on this simple card. So let's get started. The technique we're going to be learning today is the banded brayer technique. So we are going to need a brayer and we're also going to need some rubber bands. I just have a couple of thicker rubber bands but you can use thick or thin rubber bands whatever your preference is. I'm also going to grab a piece of Marina Mist cardstock and this piece is four inches by five and a quarter inches so that it's a perfect first layer on a standard card. The first thing that we need to do is actually pull our brayer apart. So to do that you want to hold on to the rubber brayer part and the plastic handle and you want to pull them in opposition to one another. And you've got to pull a bit strongly. Don't worry, you won't break your brayer and that way you can pop out the rubber roller. And then what we're going to do is take our rubber bands and we're going to slip them over the brayer and then we're going to twist our rubber band and slip it over again and twist and slip and then you can spread out your rubber band a little bit on the length of your brayer and then I'm going to do that on this other side as well so come in and put my rubber band on there and twist once and then once again over and twist and so now I have the entire surface of my brayer covered you want to be careful you don't want to have too many places where the rubber band overlaps itself more than once because we are going to be using ink with our brayer and if you have some really high points on your rubber bands the ink will get on those high points and then it'll prevent the ink from going anywhere else so you want to try to have it pretty level one overlap will probably be fine but you just want to be careful about about not having it overlap more than once and then we're just going to clip our brayer right back into the handle so now I'm going to bring in our piece of Marina Mist cardstock and I'm also going to bring in some Bashful Blue Classic ink and what we're going to do is go ahead and ink up our brayer and as you may already know when you ink up a brayer you don't want to just go back and forth in one area because if you do that all you're doing is inking this one portion of your brayer and nothing else so to ink things up you want to lightly press and push and then lift up and then press and push lift up press and push lift up and you'll see that I'm getting some ink on the actual roller as well it's because with these foam ink pads if you press with any significant pressure the brayer is going to sink into the ink pad so you want to be really light with your pressure because really we're only concerned about inking up the actual rubber bands so I'm going to try to use a light pressure now as well and we're just going to turn this cardstock sideways and then I'm just going to roll my brayer across the cardstock and I know I won't have as much ink this time but I'm going to move over to this side and roll it again and now we're going to ink up again the exact same way we did before and then I'm going to start on this lighter side this time and I'm actually tilting my brayer just a little bit to go in a little bit of a diagonal pattern just to get some interest and then here a diagonal pattern and now I'm going to ink up again and we're going to do that another time so press and push and press and push and one last time inking it up and then press and push press and push and then we're just going to set that aside to dry again you can go as many layers as you want you could also go in different directions and use different layers of color you can work on lighter backgrounds darker backgrounds it really just depends on the look that you're going for you also want to be sure after you do this technique to clean your rubber bands and your brayer. I like to clean the rubber bands while they're on the brayer so that I don't get my fingers all inky. But you just want to make sure that you don't store your brayer this way. So you want to be sure that you remove those rubber bands because if they are left on this rubber brayer for any period of time, they actually can indent or damage your brayer and you don't want to have that happen. So there you have it, a really fun way to use the banded brayer technique to create some really interesting backgrounds for your cards and paper craft projects. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you again very soon here in the craft room. Mm -hmm.